All right, so this is a scrapbook put together by somebody, I'm not sure when, but it is a compilation of this booklet that was published in 1943 called A Short History of Park Boulevard Presbyterian Church. 1943, as it was told to me and as I remember it, by Ira N. Allen. And I guess this was given to the entire congregation. It is a history of the first, what, 32, 33 years of Park Boulevard Presbyterian Church. And this is a fantastic uh, account of how the church started and who was involved and who the first pastors were and the first... Um, church properties and buildings and things like that. Then some point, um, years later, decades later, somebody took that booklet, one of those copies of it, and pulled it apart, made a scrapbook out of it, and added photos. Some of the photos are uh, were contemporary photos of the houses where church had originally started their Sunday school here in the neighborhood and then as it went on uh, found old pictures that we must have had around here in the church and put them into this scrapbook and actually wrote right into the scrapbook uh, the descriptions of each one and who the different pastors were who helped to start the church where the first buildings were this particular one was a house that the church bought and uh, that was where St. James Church first started. Maybe they built it actually, but then they added a, a belfry and bought uh, a bell, which was shipped out here from the East Coast. And we still have this bell today up in our, um, up in the tower of the church, and it can still be rung. So there's descriptions of the bell, descriptions of these original pastors, pictures of Sunday school and the kids, um, as far as possible uh, names of each one. I don't know who was around still to figure all that out. Uh, and it goes on and it covers these uh, early years up to the mid 1940s really quite comprehensively. Uh, some original um, bulletins and pictures of people breaking ground, dedication of the new sanctuary which is on the site where we are now and uh, goes on and on installations of different pastors things like that so this is just such an awesome and rich resource for us to have and somebody did just an amazing job putting it all together uh, these were sort of the, the heyday years of the church kind of leading up um, to World War II at the time that this was done and then the years right after that, the 40s and the 50s, the church just grew, um, eventually peaking out at over a thousand members in the late 1950s. Uh, one of the sad things is that uh, during that era and, and following the 1950s, we, we have very few records at all. Um, for all of the great interest in history there was, in the first 40 or 50 years, uh, there was very little. Um, later on. Uh, this beautiful sanctuary that was built here in the 1920s, unfortunately, in, in my viewpoint, was torn down in the mid-1950s for this much more modern sanctuary that we have now that um, is bigger because they felt there were so many people that even to put them in two services would require a, a larger sanctuary. So that's why we have sort of this hodgepodge of buildings now with uh, our sanctuary from the 1950s and our education building that goes back to the 1930s and our gym which is just one of the original structures back in the 1920s um, so anyway interesting stuff could look at it forever um, all the way through here and what we're hoping is to digitize everything that's in here and make it uh, available online so that everybody has access to this and can learn about the church and its history and its legacy and Enjoy it.